Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Thursday, September 5th, the European Open here. A little bit jaded. Some problems yesterday with some sterling execution. Normally my guys are, are uh, top shelf, do an amazing job. But they botched it incredibly badly yesterday uh, and turned a uh, big, big winning trade into uh, a very small loser. I only mention it because uh, there's a million ways to get fucked in this business and you just gotta keep bouncing back. Every time you get knocked down, you gotta get back up, move on, uh, learn from mistakes that happen, but move on. Uh, the one thing you don't wanna do in this business is focus on the past because we are always looking towards the future. Okay, that sermon's over. Got that off my chest. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on. Uh, let's go straight to cable. We had this news yesterday. Positive Brexit news. Traded all the way up to 129.83. The old Brexit news high is 130.44. So you just have to be aware of positive news out of Brexit now. This is the second time in two weeks. Um, this news has come out. It looks to me like quietly they're they're going to get this soft Brexit done, um, and if that does happen, we're going to head to 140 pretty quickly. So you want to have orders in uh, through highs, uh, and it's really just a news play. So you want to buy through 83. You also want to buy through 130.40. As you saw yesterday, um, we had an entry at 128.50. Should have been a should have been a big winner there, but uh, no dice. Um, but we're not going to give up on the on the theory that uh, news headlines are going to be positive for cable. Uh, if you look at our intrepid friend Sterling Swiss. Um, Go to the dailies. We made a new low through this uh, ridiculous 125.17. Yesterday was more of a doji. Um, people are going to start drawing this line. Although, let's face it, not a lot of people uh, trade Sterling Swiss. Anyway, Sterling Swiss could be your horse, or you could just play the cable side. Euro Sterling. Tricky. The big moment in this is uh, 89.40. And it also has to do with the. Uh, this is the 240, 200 moving average for the 240 bars. That's at 57, but the real money, the money shot is uh, 89.40 in euro sterling. Uh, let's go to euro. Squeeze higher last night. You can, uh, you can fade this. This, um, you know, as we talked about yesterday, we're in the fade area, 116.40 to 60. You can be short euros up here. Um, we're looking for a move back into 116 today and really waiting to plunge when this thing goes through 115.30. All this good news out of Italy about their wonderful budget. Uh, how about they're going to they're gonna play ball with the European budget deficit rules. We think is malarkey. Um, there's no way uh, Italy is not going to screw this up. They're talking out of both sides of their mouth. Uh, one side of their mouth says we want to uh, lower pensionable age. The other side of their mouth is saying we want to lower our deficits. You can't do both of those uh, at the same time. Everybody knows that. So in the end, uh, they will spend more and they will overspend like they always do. And so we wait, 
this will then penalize euro and euro yen and you just have to watch BTPs right big up day yesterday wow BTPs everyone's getting caught short but that's okay you just have to watch it now and when you see this thing turn uh, that's your signal and when you see it start plunging and going through 122.20 then we'll just crush euro have some fun with that trade for now we're like mildly short we're selling high ones we're getting ready for this euro yen same kind of a deal we don't really have a dog in this fight right now we're watching but I don't mind being short euro yen even though these two days consecutively are mildly bullish um, we're planning on a uh, on a budget blow up in Italy so just looking forward in the next 10 days uh, we think this is going to happen so keep your eyes out for that all right uh, I will leave that with that core short euro looks to be the way today uh, you can still be core short Aussie getting a little bit sticky down here 45 low really should have continued going lower down there but didn't but Aussie's not going up that's for sure so selling high ones in Aussie is probably a good idea uh, and also keeping your eyes out for more Brexit headlines good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow ciao